I tell people this all the time, learning how to tailor your own clothes and make them fit the way that you want them to fit you will completely change your life. But there's a whole lot of accessories out there and the vast majority of them are really unnecessary and they're kind of a waste of time. But there's a couple that are absolutely mandatory, are game changers, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what those are. First off, a measuring device, and more specifically, a fabric measuring tape, a ruler, and a yardstick. I think you should subscribe. And this right here is a nice, good old looking fabric measuring tape as it creates friction on the back of my neck, which is really hot, and this is not a good idea because it doesn't feel very good. As well as a ruler and a yardstick, and I suggest that you use a combination of all three and the reason for that is because they all have different jobs they all can do different things they can all do similar things but some of them do things better than the other things can do those things okay so for instance hear me out if you're gonna measure the side seam on a t-shirt or a dress shirt or you're gonna taper your jeans on the side you're gonna use a fabric measuring tape why because it's well, it's really long and all of that is good and well and fantastic that it's nice and long, but what it's not very good for are doing shorter measurements for smaller uh, incremental alterations. So that's where a nice ruler comes into play because a ruler is going to allow you to make those small little measurements when you are adjusting the side seams on something and you want to take in a quarter of an inch or a half an inch or an inch and a half, whatever it may be. Sure, you can use a fabric measuring tape for that, but it's overkill. You got a whole bunch of like, all of that just kind of dangling over there, just getting in the way and just kind of yelling at you like, hey, I think you're an idiot. <laughs> and where does the yardstick come into play, you might ask? For beating people. No, I'm just kidding. I like to use a yardstick when I'm doing any kind of long tapering on, let's say, a pair of jeans, for example. Um, if you're doing long tapering on jeans, not only do you want the length, but you want the rigidity of a yardstick or of any kind of measuring device. Because if you use a fabric uh, measuring tape to do that, for instance, it's all kind of flat flimsy and whimsy and it's not going to hold its shape so it, you just don't get like a nice straight line it, it doesn't really work so that's where a yardstick comes into play next up these guys these are fabric cutting scissors and the reason why you want to use fabric cutting scissors as opposed to paper cutting scissors or what a lot of people will end up doing is they'll go and get like any kind of random pair run-of-the-mill uh, scissors they have anywhere in their house in their utility drawer you don't want to do that a really nice feature that fabric cutting scissors have as well is uh, this they're flat on the bottom so if you have your hand down and you are cutting you can just keep cutting straight like that if you look at a pair of paper cutting scissors usually they'll go like that and they'll kind of bow out a little bit so that when you uh, have your hand down your hand is going to pivot and move all over the place and just make everything uneven and stupid looking and yeah fabric cutting scissors next up we got this guy this, ladies and gentlemen, is a seam ripper, and more specifically, it is a good seam ripper. This is gonna rip out all those happy little mistakes that you make when you're in a hurry and you're not paying attention, and your kids are yelling at you that the Wi-Fi is not working, or the Disney Plus password is incorrect for whatever reason. You can get a cheap one, sure, but it's gonna make you wanna jump off of a bridge when you're using it, and it's really irritating. This one that I have right here is nice and ergonomic, and it fits your hand perfectly. Because what could happen is if your seam ripper is too small, not only are you really upset that you made mistakes which that being said don't be upset with your mistakes because mistakes happen all the time nobody's perfect at this the problem that you run into is you're gonna end up getting like a cramp in your hand so you're irritated about the mistake and you're irritated about the fact that you're using a tiny little seam ripper and you just end up kind of thinking like maybe I should just ditch this project and just completely move on I don't want to finish it I don't care anymore no get a really good seam ripper now let's uh, let's go alter a pair of jeans, shall we? And uh, remember this seam ripper because it, it's gonna come into play in that video. Um, it's in the next one. I'll see you over there. Rusty out, deuces.